Good morning, everyone. Um, this part three of this series is going to be... Um, I finished the top of our painted art quilt in parts one and two. Um, now I've got my quilt sandwich. Oh, and I also um, painted up a background for it. And... I don't have it sewn together yet, but um, I'm doing the binding also, getting it ready to go. Uh, what I'll do now is I'm just going to spray. I use this um, spray adhesive on my smaller quilts um, to hold the, the three layers together while you're free motion quilting. And uh, I've already got part of this. You don't need much. It doesn't take much just on a on a quilt this size because um, you're just trying to hold the layers so that they don't move while you're doing the free motion quilting. So I'll finish this up here. And now um, quilt's all ready to do some free motion quilting. So we'll go over to the um, sewing machine and we'll get going. Thanks. Okay, um, back here. I'm using a, um, a really soft yellow. I've already got it threaded so I can't show you. I'm using a soft yellow thread for the um, free motion quilting. And I'm starting to kind of, the before I start the free motion, I'm going to echo around the bird a couple of times just so that he kind of stands out since he's pretty much the focal point um, in the design here. So I'm just doing a, you know, a straight stitch. going to do it uh, around maybe twice. Uh, I've already gone around part of it. And this will just um, enhance the bird a little bit. Okay, um, I don't know how well you can see that on here now. Um, I'll show it to you when it's finished. But now I'm going to start, I think I'm just going to start this corner and I'm going to do a, a stipple a stitch. It's just kind of a meandering stitch. Uh, no real pattern to it. And I'm not going to make it too small. Um, and in the in the stipple, um, well, in most free motion quilting stitches, you don't cross um, any lines. It's 
just a continuous continuous design and and like I said it's um, you could do it however you want it it's no particular pattern um, I'm had a couple of people ask me why I have the thumb and forefinger um, cut out of my gloves. And when you're free motion quilting, a lot of times you, uh, you know, when you start, you stop to clip your threads and um, I don't have to keep taking my gloves on and off if I have that those two cut. I can still um, I can still thread the needle, do anything I need to do. So I just cut those the tips of those off. Uh, some some people who do free motion quilting don't even use um, the gloves. And and for those of you who aren't familiar with them, they have these little plastic nubby things on them. It just helps you grip the um, the fabric and uh, keeps your hands from slipping while you're moving the fabric around. I've tried it both ways, and I just um, I just am not comfortable at all unless I'm wearing them. Okay, sorry, my battery died. Um, I'm not going to make you watch me quilt this entire um, piece, so I will speed this up. And um, in a minute. Okay, I'm coming around to the, <clears throat> the end here, which is, I just kind of worked my way around um, the quilt right back to the starting point. On larger quilts, I work from the center and do it a quarter of a time and go back to the center and start over. But on smaller quilts, um, it's fine to just work your way around. So, let me see. Okay, so this will kind of show you where we are with it right at the moment. You can see some of the the stitching. Uh, now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to paint a little bit more on it. I wanted to do some more mixed media, um, but I wanted to do it on top of the quilting stitches. So we'll be back in just a minute and we'll do that. Um, one of the, and I'm not a big user of stencils, I don't care for them that much, but I do like this one because it's um, uh, kind of gives the feeling of the of the sun, and so I like to use it um, in some of my quilts just for that, just for that reason. And I've this particular. Uh, since I'm using it for the sun, um, the yellow that I have, the transparent yellow, is a little too bright for me. So I've mixed it with 
white, which will make this a little bit more um, uh, opaque than I normally like. But this is what I have to do to get um, to get the color I want because I don't have it. I don't have that particular color in a transparent paint. So I'm just kind of trying to tap it more than um, than paint it on. And I'm not real concerned about whether it's perfect. Um, you know, I kind of like some little mist areas and uh, I, to me, that's that's what makes this this kind of fun. Um, you'll know when I'm done what I was aiming to show, but it won't necessarily be um, perfect. In in some of this mixed media, I just wanted to do on top of the um, stitching rather than before I did the free motion because I think the free motion then kind of takes away from it. So I think I've got it on where I want it. I taped it down here in a few areas just to and there we go with that. Um, next I'm going to take a little bit of um, bubble wrap. I love this stuff for mixed media. And paint a little bit of white. Just a random pattern. It doesn't need to be uh, anything specific. I want it to kind of take on the look of maybe some clouds. But you don't want anything too perfect. And then um, just press it down. I might do one or two more. Um, you'd be amazed when you're doing mixed media, the stuff that I like the best to use are usually things that I have found around the house. And that's another video. I'll, uh, show you some of those things maybe in the next video. So there we go. That's what I'm going to do uh, with that bubble wrap. Uh, let me see what else I've got here. I decided um, that I wasn't going to add any more mixed media to it because I didn't want it to get too um, busy since I want the bird to stand out. So all I've really added is the yellow up here in the corner and then the, the little splashes of white to kind of mimic clouds. Um, so here it is to this point. Um, what I'm going to do now is square it up and um, and add the binding and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, here's the finished um, little quilt. I've added binding all the way around. Um, and on the back, let me show you these little corner pockets. Um, this is how I like to hang my quilts. And so I uh, make these little corner pockets for it. And I forgot to bring in a dowel rod, but if you take just a little, a small dowel rod and put it in there, um, then it's a it's a great way to hang them. Um, the binding, um, I didn't show you that. There are uh, some really good binding tutorials on uh, YouTube. One of my favorite and where I learned from was Missouri Star Quilt Company. So I've got a link down here in the bottom to that um, that particular uh, video. 
if you're interested in learning how to do the binding on them. But this is this is a finished product, and um, I kind of like I kind of like how it turned out. It's very uh, simple, um, and the bird is obviously the focal point of it. Um, I like how the sun turned out. I'm just I'm real happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed um, watching the process. And um, thanks for stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, take a minute and do that. And then you'll be you'll know when I have new videos uh, ready to go. So thanks a lot.